hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this top guys the top is very easy to make so basically i know you'll be using like a crepe fabric or any fabric that can drape easily not a car fabric with like starch and like stiffness so um you might be using like a silk and most of these fabrics that i just named they come as like that um 60 inches but you know our cara fabric most times it's like seven um 47 sorry so the fabric you'll be using will, most times it will be wider so first thing you're going to do is just to spread out your fabric like this you see it's just one piece i'm holding i've not folded it so the next thing you're going to do is to tilt it this way and then fold it once right and then after folding it once so guys after this now the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and fold it this the second time right so you fold it again so now i know like i said when you're using a, a car fabric the length will most likely come down even more for this inner fold right but you see this is just an illustration because I, I won't uh, be cutting it here so first thing you're going to do is to come up to the top here and then you're going to come down from the top to where your shoulder will fit in. So you're going to do your shoulder divided by two, wherever that is. So for me, that will be eight inches. So I'm going to find where will eight inches fit for me here. So come down somewhere here and rule a straight line. Then insert um, shoulder divided by two, which is eight. Come down here and then I'm going to mark uh, my armhole. So first come down one inch of shoulder slope, then you're going to go ahead and insert your um, insert your armhole divided by two. So if you don't know how to do it, just do um, your bust measurement, round your bust divided by um, six plus 1.5. So whatever you get, that's going to be the length you insert here. And then you're going to connect it to the top and then give it a curve. Guys, let me also say something. You don't, when, when you're using a wider fabric you don't have to come down like this right just come down where you feel like because most times if you come down here now the way i have it here just because it fits in here you might your bust might not be the same as this point and you still need extra three inches or more so you might want to come down even more than where your shoulder measurement will fit in right so that that way when you insert your armhole wherever the point of your bust line is you can still be able to add in your seam allowance and your ease to it because imagine now i decided just because my shoulder is eight if i come down here now and my bust is um 44 i don't even have enough for seam allowance not to talk of my ease but i also know that the fabric you'll be using will be wider than an akara fabric right so after that the next thing is just to go ahead and insert your length guys this does exactly all you need for this top. So you're going to use the back. And guys, just know that you're cutting the front and the back together, right? So you're going to go ahead and insert your... Um, you're going to use the longest part of the back as the length. Because you, you know this is a high-low um, top. So the longest part is what you're going to use. So let's say that's like 32. You're going to go ahead and add um, extra, let's say, 2 inches to it. So I'm going to be working with 34. That 2 inches is just for my seam allowance that I'll be needing for this. So go ahead and add that. And then you mark the 34 all the way around, right? Just keep moving your tape like this. Just don't mind that marking mine without measuring it. And then you come up to the bust. Whatever your bust measurement is, you mark it. Add extra 3 inches, guys. So that it will look like, so that you get more um, room in it. So guys, whatever your bust measurement is, you mark it, go ahead and add extra like three inches to it. Two inches of ease and one inch of seam allowance. So um, so let's say my bust is uh, divided by four, is going to give me nine. I'll go ahead and add three inches here. So uh, instead of um, nine, I'll have, I think like 12, right? So one inch will serve as my seam allowance and two inches will serve as my ease. If you want, you can just do um, two inches, one inch of seam allowance, one inch of ease, but to get that type of uh, loose flay that she has. And then once you mark it, I'm still assuming that your fabric is wider than this. Once you mark it, whatever is left, if you, if that is, if you have anything left, just connect it to the, uh, uh, to form an angle to the body of this, just connect it this way. But if you don't have anything, then, that means your angle has already formed with the uh with the shape of your uh this fabric right 
So once that is done, the next thing you're going to do is to come up to this part, mark three inches of your neckline, one inch for your back neckline, connect it this way, insert your shoulder slope, and then you just go ahead and cut. So basically, you're going to cut from this point here out, shoulder down here, cut all the way, and then cut it. So guys, this is me doing it on a miniature version, you see. Let's say this is the part I'm working with. First fold, second fold. So guys, you see, I cut it out in a miniature version, right? So your shoulder, the one inch of shoulder slope, armhole down here. So you're going to go ahead and separate it. So take away one from it, and then one will be your front neckline. So sorry, one will be the front pattern, right? So let's say this is the one I'm using for the front, right? Just like this. I'm going to go ahead and two things you three things you do in front is just to bring down your neckline how much you would want to do maybe four inches or three inches because the neckline is quite high so i'll do let's say three inches down here and then once you do that another thing you will do is the armhole you're going to remove at least half an inch in this from this armhole here so that your sleeve will relax better and then after that the next thing you're going to do is just the bottom part so you're going to reduce the length of the bottom part so from this point now you're going to figure out how much you want to cut out so let's say i want to cut out this much i'm going to go ahead and remove it so you can do from your shoulder to maybe um your a little bit below your waist sorry that's um half not your half length though but maybe like up to two inches above your hip is what i want to say so maybe that's what you want so now you see how the, the so this is going to be the front this is going to be the back you see the two sides are still the same length right because the two sides will be meeting each other but the center front is looking this way so it will just connect like this all the way to the back so for the armhole i'm just going to go ahead and cut it off and then after that just don't mind what i cut out so set this aside and then you go ahead and cut your sleeve so you see my fabric is on a fold Guys, don't mind the different colors I'm using here, but just know you fold your fabric into two. You have two pieces of it because you need two sleeves, right? You're cutting um, it your quarter sleeve. You're going to first put in, come down from your shoulder, four inches. The next thing, your shoulder to your elbow, and then the length you want it to stop. If you want, you can stop at your elbow. If you want, you can stop wherever, right? But this four inches is just for your cap height and then the width here you make sure is your armhole divided by two but remember we've already extended this by an extra like three inches so it's going to you know it will not be exactly your armhole that you use here because of the excess because remember your sleeve the cover of your sleeve will go even up to your seam allowance here so remember to add more to it it's better to have more and then cut it off than to have less so let's say whatever my armhole is I can go ahead and do plus extra two inches to it or extra three inches my armhole divided by two i can do extra three inches it doesn't matter i can always cut it off and then from this point to this point i'll just mark connect it this way and then halfway through this so guys once you mark your four come down four inches mark your sh your um shoulder to where your elbow will be and then the cuff remember to add like at least two to three inches so that you can be able to fold this with a bold cuff. elbow here your elbow line which is the sorry that this is not showing but just know this is your elbow line come down there your elbow divided by two plus one inch of seam allowance so let's say it's here one inch of seam allowance come down to the cuff wherever um divided by two round your cuff divided by two mark it plus one inch of seam allowance go ahead and connect everything together and then give it a curve below here and the curve above like this and that is it. guys i already have a tutorial on the basic sleeve so this is just a basic sleeve that you're cutting here right and then you're going to go ahead and cut this out so guys all i have to do now is just to take this back panel here and then another thing is that you're going to one change that you're going to make for the back is that you will slit it open at least like 
four inches or five inches down five inches is perfect and turn it over that way your head can fit in because remember the front neckline is not deep so if this is just my there's no way my head can fit in here because there's no zipper right so i'll just get a smaller fabric and use it as a facing so this fabric that i have now i'll just take it the way it is now take it place it on top like this sew it all over and then flip it inside of it as it will serve as a facing you see so all i have to do now is just to take this the way it is and join it shoulder to shoulder right place it join the two shoulders together like this guys i know you're wondering what happened to my fabric here but this is just scrap fabric that i'm working with i'll add something to it to extend it but this is the what this side this is what it's actually supposed to look like the correct side is this but my fabric is shortened on this side so i'll still add something to it but just know that this is what it's supposed to look like on the right side like if my fabric was enough so you join the two shoulders together you see it's already giving you that look now you're going to now take one sleeve add it here take the second so i have two of them here i'm going to add one on this side one shoulder here and then one shoulder on this other side and then i can then go ahead and use bias to run the neckline that's basically it for the top so so guys you see i've gone ahead insert my sleeve and close the top guys if you want once you finish you can also go back in and still reduce it more you see what i did here so this is what it looked like before right so i'm just going to find the center front and the center back tilt it around so that you can chip off some more from the side so that this part would just drop down almost like a tail so guys from this point you can just go back in and cut mark mark this much and cut it off you understand that way it will look more like what is on the picture so you reduce it even more from the side instead of cutting just the front you have to cut a little bit more from the back too so now if i open it up you see so it just goes round and then comes back towards the back so all you have to do after that is just to go ahead and fold the edge of your clothes and then for the neckline you're going to use your bias run it over and then you're going to attach something that looks like this just your fabric that you're going to use to make something like this put it on one side and then a button on the other side so there's going to be a button at the back or if you don't want to use this you can use eye and hook right so you can put the eye and the hook at the back here and then just hook it to hold it so that's basically how you do the top so guys i'm going to go ahead and insert a video on how to make a pants i've made several uh, videos on how to make palazzo pants on my channel so i'll just go ahead and insert a link on how to make a palazzo pants so you can just attach that or whatever you want to the top right so thank you guys so much for your time and i'll see you in my next video guys please like share and subscribe bye